Hey there guys, I'm back to another video. Today I want to talk about my experience at Anime NYC this past week. I went last Saturday and I had a great time with my friends. Uh, so I just want to sort of document that experience, sort of give you guys not a review, but you know, just tell you guys how, how much have fun I had and sort of what was there to do and sort of what I did there. So this is my first ever anime convention ever. So going to Anime NYC was sort of like a big deal for me. I've been to other conventions in the past. Obviously, New York Comic Con is probably the biggest one in New York as a state and as a city. So, you know, going to this one, but just with anime, I was very, very excited because I got into anime much more recently during the pandemic. And last year in 2021, I got into manga really, really heavily. So, you know, just going to this convention to experience the fandom firsthand was very, very cool. Seeing all of the merchandise that was up for sale from all of the vendors, seeing the artist alley, the talented artists that were there. I didn't record any footage of their, of the, uh, artist alley because i feel like you know when you record stuff of an artist or like take pictures of it maybe they don't want you to and you know that's respectable and you know i i understand because you know there's all of this like reposting stuff and people don't give credit to like the artist so i instead of like going through the hassle of like trying to go through every single person's you know art and try to like credit them accordingly i just decided to avoid all that but if you go to any artist alley at any convention especially big ones like new york comic con anime nyc you're gonna see some really talented artists and i highly recommend you take their sort of business card follow them on twitter instagram whatever social media that they're using to show your support for them and yeah, but anyways, the main thing that we did, uh, me and my friends, was just walk around the show floor and just see whatever merchandise that they had for sale. So one of the first big booths that we visited was this booth that had prize anime figures. So if you guys don't know what, what a prize figures are, they're pretty much good figures, you know, nice detail, nice sculpt, nice everything for like 20 to $30, which I think is pretty reasonable for anime figures, especially if you're not willing to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on them you know there are anime figures that are worth that much and it's kind of crazy that they even exist but if you're looking for something simple that can just sit on your shelf on your bookshelf on your desk whatever the case is i think prize anime figures are definitely the way to go this booth in particular had them for 30 dollars each but i believe if you bought two of them you were paying 25 each so 50 50 bucks all together which is which is not that bad i think that that is the price point that you're looking for 20 to 30 dollars anything more than that is a little crazy but this booth in particular pretty much had every single shonen you had dragon ball naruto one piece jujutsu kaisen etc but you also had some lesser known stuff that i was a lot more interested in like rent a girlfriend Quinter center quintuplets slime uh, i believe they had a layback camp figure which was also pretty cool but yeah you know Whatever kind of anime that you're into, there should be something in the convention hall that, that is up your alley, 100%. Especially if you're into the big shonen. Like, there was so much Spy Family stuff. And Spy Family only came out this past year, which is a little crazy. But, yeah. I was personally a lot more interested in the smaller minifigures. So, this booth in particular had a bunch of Pokemon stuff. You know, Pokemon is also pretty big among anime uh people i guess the anime fandom because pokemon is technically an anime and a lot of people's first anime whether they they knew it or not um so you know seeing all of these cute little mini pokemon figures but me personally i was a lot more interested in the anime figures like they had tokyo revengers naruto demon slayer spy family you know all of those big hitters and i'll show you one figure that i bought from this booth because they had something that i was pretty interested in uh and you know you you're going to be paying that 15 to like $20 range for these figures. But because they're so small, you know, the amount of detail that's in them is pretty cool. And because they are so small, you're able to put it on your desk with ease. You're able to put it on your bookshelf without having it take up too much space. So, you know, that's pretty big for me because I don't have a lot of space. So, you know, mini figures like this are always pretty dope. Uh, plushies. Plushies are a huge thing here. Uh, just seeing like the walls of plushies of Pokemon stuff, Tokyo Revengers, Demon Slayer, Naruto, etc. You know, just seeing all of these different fandoms have plushies of them is pretty neat. Uh, the blind boxes stuff is obviously pretty big within Japan. So seeing a booth like this that had just a bunch of random like blind box, like key change, charms, pins, etc. I was going to buy this renter girlfriend one that was like for $10. But at the same time, I was like that's ten dollars maybe i should like wait off and you know look at what other booths had in mind uh they also had this my dress up darling one which i saw as i was editing this footage so maybe maybe i would have bought that who knows um but yeah you know just seeing all of the cool stuff that they have and there's obviously other things that you can do at the convention that's not just 
you know, buy stuff. You can obviously take photos of these big, big, big statues, whether you're in them or not. You know, like they had this big All Might statue of, you know, that one episode within My Hero, you know, that pretty cool moment. And then they also had this big Luffy statue from One Piece, you know. So they had a lot of cool stuff that you can do to sort of interact and sort of, you know, photograph yourself with other anime characters and things like that. Speaking of... VTubers. VTubers have been a huge, huge, huge thing this past, uh, I, I would say like few years, you know, ever since the pandemic started, I feel like VTubers have really risen up in popularity. And it's very cool to see that VTubers are, n- are now like a part of like the anime community, but at the same time being a part of the streaming community. So obviously the two biggest VTubers in my mind are Nanners and Iron Mouse and getting a photo with them too was pretty dope. Um, so yeah. Uh, they also had some booths that were selling gaming stuff, like new games and old games, which is pretty interesting. You know, so even if you're not super into anime there and you like video games, there's definitely going to be some video game booths here. Uh, unless you're willing to spend big, big, big top dollar for like some of these titles, you know, you're not going to get a whole lot of, you know, like, I guess, like really interesting or like unique titles because it's either the big like Mario games that are boxed or like the, you know, like the super common like Gears of War and things like that. So, you know, they definitely have to pick and choose of what they're going to bring to this convention in particular because it is a anime convention. So they can't really, you know, bring a super obscure N64 game because that may not sell even though it's worth, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, There was this Ray Sonic plushie that I was looking at uh, because I need it for my collection. Uh, but he was selling it for $20 and that is double the retail price, which I might've paid in hindsight. But at the same time, I was like, let me see if I could still find it in retail stores because I believe that they are still circulating out there. But other, but otherwise I guess I'm going to have to, you know, pay that $20 or more, you know, depending on how long I decide to wait. All in all, I had a great time at anime NYC. Uh, do I recommend you go to a anime convention, whether it's this one, Uh, next year or one within your area yes definitely if you like anime and manga and you love anime like you should definitely go to one of these conventions especially with a group of friends if you have one like it is so 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 much fun just walking around taking photos of each other of like in front of like whether it's just like banners and posters or in front of statues or you know anime cars or whatever the case is you know it is just fun interacting with this you know convention hall and seeing all of the cool stuff that they have for you too look at and take pictures of uh if you're not a big anime fan i would say it's a maybe you know if you have a group of friends that that do like anime definitely check it out you know maybe you want to go to a different convention that maybe specializes something a lot more of what you're interested in maybe like a comic con or a gaming convention etc etc but um yeah like i said i had a great time my pickups uh so first i got this little nino figure from quintessential quintuplets um i wanted to get something of quintessential quintuplets uh for my collection of you know figurines and whatnot uh they did have a prize figure but i'm not sure if uh my mom would like that one so you know i decided to go and get a smaller figure that was a little more you know low-key if you will um so i got that for 15 dollars, which isn't that bad you know all things considered like i said it's a very nice detailed look um minifigure uh and then the other thing i bought was a five dollar manga and i you know if it wasn't five bucks i honestly wouldn't have bought it but also because i did watch the anime and i do like the anime adaptation i want to see how this manga adaptation is because i believe it was originally a light novel but that is after being rejected i shaved and took in a high school runaway uh i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that first word hiji hero i hope i said that right but yeah i watched the anime when it came out and honestly it was really really wholesome and a lot cuter than i thought it was gonna be you know the title definitely seems a little sus and a little weird but trust me you know watch the first three episodes on crunchyroll if you don't like it you can drop it um i definitely just bought it because it was five bucks so i was like okay why not um which is more than half off because the, because it does retail for 12.95 or something like that so five dollar manga why not you know, I'll give it a shot. But yeah, that is pretty much my experience at Anime NYC. Shout out to Louis, Jeffrey, Damien, and Kofi for tagging along with me. Uh, I really had a great time with you guys. You guys know how much I love you. So shout out to them. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have not already, you can subscribe or put new videos up on Saturdays. You can follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Try to put updates to my future videos on there. Check out my podcast, the Travis and Damien Podcast, over at anchor.fm slash Travis Damien Podcast. We talk about games, movies, and anime every other week. And yeah, that is that is all I have for today. Thank you guys, thank you guys for watching this video once again. I will see you guys next time with more videos.